Just be attractive and drink a bottle of Dior Sauvage. That'll solve all of your problems. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. <laughs> but anyways, how to talk to women, how to talk to people you're attractive to, you know, whatever you're into, I got y'all. First and foremost, I think what I do, right, will work for you. You should be upfront and you should be honest. I have made mistakes doing this before, you know, uh, beating around the bush and things like that. But be upfront and be honest and really be truthful. What do you want? And if someone asks you, be truthful. What do you want out of them? Do you want a relationship? Do you want friends with benefits? Because what you don't want to do is waste time with anyone or anything. So be truthful. And that also helps you with your strategy and the way you do things. But let's say you do want a relationship with a person. You do want to um, advance things. You need to ask yourself if you love yourself. Am I worthy of uh, giving, you know, if I'm, am, am I full enough? Am I, you know, complete enough to give to someone else, be something for someone else? Because we don't want to have do anything. It's all in or nothing. You know what I mean? No half doing anything. And then you have to ask yourself, if you were the opposite gender or just anyone, would you date yourself? Would you date you? Would you befriend you? Right? Because it's friends, then lovers. Right? All that good stuff. Would you like to be around you? And if you don't, that's where you need to fix. You need to go ahead, pack up your bags, and take yourself back home until you would like to be with a person like you. Because if you want a great partner... If you want to attract your crush, then become your crush. Okay? Anyways, when you find this person, when you're talking to this person, make them open up first. Okay? Ask them just like an interview without the whole interview criteria. But tell me about yourself. Uh, what's something I should know about you? Right? What do you want to know about me? Anything and everything. What do I need to know? Well, I like waffles, and I'm from Oregon, but I moved to Michigan, and I like to surf. Oh, so you like to surf? Um, I always wanted to learn how to surf, but I was always afraid of water. Well, maybe one day I can teach you. That would be lovely. You know what I'm saying? Just flow. Make sure she opens up, right? Show interest in what she's talking about. Follow up. Like I said, if she says she moved from this and that, like comment on it. Show interest. People will associate a great feeling with you if you show interest in what they speak about. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. Haven't you been talking to someone you were so passionate about saying something and they own their phone and not paying attention and it made you feel like crap? Right? It made you feel like crap because they showed no interest. You had all this emotion built up. You just wanted to share something with someone. Or you go to show somebody a video. You're like, yo, look at this funny video. It's like, yeah, I already saw that. It's like the biggest slap in the face. So the same thing goes with conversation when you're talking to a person. You get them to open up, right? Learn who they are. Show interest in what they are speaking about. Follow up. Ask questions. Be curious. Be genuine, right? They're going to associate you with a good feeling and positive reinforcement. And you search for compatibility within these conversations. You tell them about yourself. Don't just be sitting there interviewing all the time. Open up. And hopefully you, you're able to shift the conversation either by yourself or maybe she'll ask you or maybe they will ask you, what do you like? Tell you about yourself. And you need to have a story ready, right? And I'm not telling you to script out A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but bro, you should be able to answer the question, tell me about yourself. Well, Shaman, tell me about yourself. Well, um, I love movies. I love popcorn. And I'm a free spirit. I like to travel, I like to move around, I don't like to be held down by anything. I love music, I love listening to music. I was always fascinated by music and now I have the ability to make music and I just like my piece, right? You should be able to answer that question smoothly at any given time. So within these conversations, as I said before, you wanna search for compatibility because if we get to this point and you two or three or four, whatever you into. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might be poly and have 30 of y'all. If y'all are not compatible, y'all need to nip it in the bud there. And I'm not telling you how to live. This is just the way I, I see it. If you don't have compatibility, what's the point of going any further? You understand what I'm saying? Because you just, it's not going to work. I know opposites attract. But in that case, man, you only going, it just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work.
and you know this, okay? Now, what you also don't want to do is if you do find that you're compatible with this person and things are going well, especially for you young people, don't do that stupid junk where you out here pretending that you don't like people to gain what I don't know. It usually comes from a lack of confidence because I remember when I was young, I used to play like I didn't like girls because my friends was around and I ended up losing some of those and uh, it hurt at the time. And I know dudes, even when we got older, I mean, beautiful girls, they would brag, man, I don't like that girl the whole time. They in a message like, please, I love you so much. Talk to me in school tomorrow. It's like, yo, leave, 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 some, leave some, you know what I'm saying, some junk for the elementary kids. Like, we was doing that in elementary, middle school even. You know what I mean? Like, grow up, build that confidence up, stop caring about what people think, and just embrace what you want, my G. Stop playing all these games. Now, I'm all for a little bit of teasing. I'm all for a little bit of mind games in order to, you know, spice things up a little bit. But at the same time, when, when you're doing those things, your intentions are still clear. It's like if you, you're teasing a girl, you're like, I hate you. You know, like you, you just, you disgust me. She like, why, 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 why do you disgust me? Or she wears a dress. You're like, that dress is horrible. And she's like, well, why isn't it nice? Right? You compliment her hair, but say her dress is horrible. She's looking for your validation, but you teasing her. Whole time you love the girl. You you inside like, ah! But you're not showing it. Because if you're just like, oh my gosh, I love your dress and I love your skirt and you're just so beautiful and your hair is good. She'll be like, back the hell up. You're a fan. I'm a star. So let me start treating you like a fan and I'm the celebrity. Right? There has to be some type of balance. That's just the duality of these things okay so what I need you to do is get into your role and play a role if you're a man get into that masculine energy and also if you're a man you have to have feminine energy too right that's just balance yin and yang but get into your masculine role stop asking her where she wants to go for dates stop asking her this stop asking her that that's why at the beginning when you ask her what she likes Throw in there, if if you could go to one place to eat, where would you go? Oh, I would love to go to Shaman's Cafe, right? Where, where, where should you be going the first time you take her out to eat? You don't go on a date the first time to go out to eat. You don't go out to eat on the first date. That That's usually my rule. I've done it sometimes. It has failed miserably. I don't like it. I like interaction. A walk is perfect for a first date. But when, like I said, you, you learn things about a person so you can use them later on. In those conversations early, you've already figured out what her favorite color is. You already figure out what her favorite jacket is. You've already figured out where she likes to eat. So it makes planning things much easier. And you also have to be confident in you and inviting people into your world. I will take a city slicker girl who's never touched grass and take her hiking. Give her the best experience of her life. Right? Might have to slap a few bugs off of her, but I'm taking care of the planning. I'm not asking you where we want to go and what time and all that. Now, I'm not telling you we can't make plans with each other. I'm not saying that. But if it's time for me to take lead and take action, boo. <laughs> I got you. You don't have to worry about nothing. Just be ready at seven. Okay? Stop asking. Oh, well, well, when you get some free time, let me know. Worst mistake ever. You let her know, look, I'm free Thursday and Friday. Um, if you are free, I would like to meet there. Right? The offer is there. Simple. Don't, don't be desperate. Don't be needy. Don't be needy. And another thing, fellas, especially... When you want a person, when you want your crush, when you want this person who's just uh, all in your mind, stop trying to appeal to everyone else. Because if you spread your energy too thin, when you are approached by this person that you want, when you are confronted by their presence, or your presence confronts them, it's not gonna have that same thump. If you're seeking validation for a thou from a thousand people, when you meet the one true person that you really want validation from, your energy is gonna be spread too thin. You shouldn't be in every girl's DMs. You shouldn't be sliding up on every girl's picture. You shouldn't be texting a bunch of women. And I've done these things. I've done, I've, I've been everywhere. You know what I mean, around the block. 
and I've learned a lot. But I'm just telling you from my experience, my mindset now. Focus your energy into that tunnel. Most importantly, this tunnel is really you, right? The tunnel is really you. Your focus should be on you. And when you're pursuing someone, you take a little bit of that focus out of there, but you still like, yep, let me throw some of that in there. Take a little investment, maybe peak a little bit. But you got to focus on you. You got to focus on what's important. And if that girl or that person is important to you, you have to focus on that. Worry about being attractive to the person that you actually want rather than all these little nickels walking around. You want that dime. So attract dimes. Become a dime. And you'll attract that dime. Okay? So, if you were looking for like some conversation starters or some icebreakers or something like that, I kind of sprinkled a little bit of that in. And if you was looking to approach people, I got a video on that. Y'all can go find that how to approach people but um if y'all want to learn how to talk to them like conversation starters things like that then i'll make a video on that but i think this uh gave a good basis of what you can do to you know have a little more success but um anyways i appreciate you guys for joining i love you all thank you for the support and um go get that beautiful lady okay I'll see y'all on the next one. Did you subscribe? You didn't. Subscribe.